Okay, uh, let's go again. So spirals. Uh, I think uh, Morris F Gamut with F four. This was quite good the other day. Play King H one or Queen E one, both. Queen E1 here, there's D5. Maybe Bishop D3 is good here because he seems to be set out for D5. Let's preempt that. So E5 on H7. I'll play for Bishop B2 as well, I think. Alright, so sort of E5, Rook D1, E5. Try and use that D file. Get to h7. Oh, that looks unusual. Hmm. It's queen e3 good here. It's a bit of a detour. Queen e3 might be worth it. I'll try queen e3, I think. Oh, he's weakening himself. So I'll play for that e5 still. Or f5? What about just f5? Looks pretty natural. Or e5. If you not that diagonal. g4, knight g7. I think e5, then try for knight e4. For knight f6. Also, there's g4, of course, if bishop g7. Try and win that knight, and this, this diagonal is a total disaster, which it looks like a total disaster. Because knight e5, I think we refute that almost. Good question here g4, knight e5. Play knight e4 first just to reinforce. E5, keep the threat of G4. So G4 straight off the bat. Hmm, does it's tempting to win a piece. Knight E4, say F5, Knight D6. Looks like a juicy position anyway. Also, isn't there Bishop takes G6 here, just attacking the Queen? And the Knight. Without weakening the King. For the slaughter on the diagonal. That's a really good bonus if you don't get your king slaughtered. <laughs> to a bishop on b7. Bonus. So bishop g6. Right, he has to sack the queen. Right, now, okay, now, now, now knight e4. With the threat. Oh, he's got knight, uh, he's got the f4 square now. Okay, what about knight, knight d6? Oh, he's got that. Okay, isn't it takes a knight c5? And then if bishop d4, there's queen e6. So knight, knight c5, there's bishop f3. Uh, there's queen e6, and then g takes that. No, no, there isn't queen e6. Okay, I'll just take them like this. Um, he's got compensation. Hope it's not enough. So, okay, bishop moves queen e6 or knight e6? Knight e6, okay, queen b3. Or, um,. Okay, right, 96 here. There's f4 then after that. Or queen b3. Um, I think queen, queen b3 is interesting. Uh, or knight g5. Knight g5 through knight e4, I think, is interesting. 
because that knight looks good on e4 here. A minute down on the clock. Uh, but this knight on e4. Maybe rook to c1 one day. Or queen, queen a7 would be useful for rook c1. So rook c1, queen a7, just trying to mate the king if possible. Uh, knight g3, okay, queen a7 gets sort of mating that started. So rook c1 next. He's on e6, otherwise queen b6 is not really threatening that. Queen a8 might be useful. Okay, he's going for my king. I have to go for his king to return the compliment before I get zapped. So rook c8 threatened. Who's going to zap who first? He's got rook d2, he's got a check. Knight d2 if he wants to win back material. Okay, now he's on h2, but menacing. Check forcing move, knight f8, queen e7, rook h2. I don't want my back row weakened, so I think queen e7, check, and then hope for the best after king g1. That stops knight f8, cuts down that defence. Knight f8, so now rook c8 a lot more effective. Packaging out that resource as a Christmas present. Rook c8. Okay. Um, I don't want all these checks if I move them a rook. How about knight g5 for queen f7? Knight g5. So queen f7 and queen e5 are threatened. Down to my last minute soon. Rook h2, king g1. Um, how does he defend? Well, it's rook d7, queen e5. Okay, so it is a double attack of f7 and queen e5. So he plays check, king g1. Thankfully his rooks are not yet coordinating. Has it spiralled out of control for spirals? <laughs> uh, <laughs> He's getting a bit short on time as well. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Queen f7, I guess. Right, so the check doesn't do anything. Um right, F four. Uh nope, ninety six. I'm gonna throw another check just to see that situation. Alright, uh okay. Knight E four here just to stop the rooks for a moment connecting with rook D two. Also, it hits the bishop usefully, which is sort of overloaded to f8 and protecting this rook. So at least I've stopped the rooks connecting. Is he falling apart? I hope so. So, bishop e5, queen f8. Rook moves. Okay, knight d6 here. Okay, that looks bad for him. Got to stop the um, perpetual checks. So, it's been like queen. Uh-oh. Oh, I've got to move, got to move. I can't stop the perpetual checks. Nope, gone into perpetual check. Nope. <laughs> Panic. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. I thought it was going to be easy. But there's no there's no 
Unfortunately, there's no way of stopping Rook H3. There's knights on it. What can I do? What can I do there? Tricky. Really thought it was a goner here. It's knight e4. Oh, no, hell If king g2, maybe just check again. He doesn't have to give up two rooks to the queen there. Alright, in this position, what about. I think the key thing is this overloader. What about just rook f1? Oh, that's easy, isn't it? Just just rely on this being overloaded again. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, no way. Okay. Comments or questions on YouTube. Thanks very much.